Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. It got cold last night, so I'm wearing my little pink sweater I got from Target. My cute little necklace is kind of peeking through and everything. I don't have any nails on today, but I'm just going to put a new first set of nails uh, when this video's over. I'm going to have lunch. Before that, I really wanted to do a uh, update on the Jax Taylor. Um, I forgot her name now. Um, split Brittany Cartwright and Jax Taylor split. And the first I want to talk about Hilly Bieber, sister. Why am I out of breath, you guys? <sighs> you know it's bad. You know you've gained weight. When, when you walk up the stairs, you're out of breath. I know, you guys. I'm kind of going to be on a diet for a little bit, maybe a few days. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I always say that. Oh, my lord. Anyway, you guys, um... Have you ever, like, like, ooh, just need for a shirtless shot, so I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me on TMZ website all the time. But according to TMZ, um, Hailey Bieber's sister, Alaya, Alaya, whatever her name is, arrested at Georgia Bar, allegedly fought through a tampon. So I have to do a video about this. I mean, she's just, I have to, you know, when someone's this trashy and disgusting, I have to do a video on them. So yeah, like and subscribe. Um, what do we think about this makeup look? It's getting Valentine's Day, even if it's March 1st. Happy, happy March, by the way. Hey. Hope you're having a good weekend. Oh, this makeup is so pretty. I have to just give you guys a little moment here. <laughs> yes. We're my little earrings for you guys today. My little studs. Really cute. So yeah. Oh, I feel all cozy and cute and glam. Oh, I wish I had my nails on though. <laughs> I had these Barbie nails on, but they were driving me nuts. I took them off, so I'm going to put, new, like I said, a new set on um, later on today. But anyway, you guys, let's just get this video started. It's already two minutes and a half. I haven't even started the video yet. Like, properly. You guys, I got to give you a tour of the makeup, of course. Always, of course. Um, okay, so Al Alaya? Alaya. I'm just going to call it Alaya. Alia, Al Alia, Alia, whatever her name is. I'm just going to call her trash because that's what she is. <laughs> okay, so she was arrested in Georgia earlier th early this week over what cops claim was a wild brawl at a bar. she an alcoholic? Maybe. Which involved used tampons being hurled. Honey, when you have to throw a, a used tampon at somebody as a defense... I think it's time to really reevaluate your entire fucking existence. Really. Yeah. Um, wow. The influencer. Oh, she was an influencer. That explains it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, was maybe she needed some more views. Maybe her Instagram reels numbers were low and she wanted some more clout. Well, here's your clout, sweetie. Enjoy it. Miss, miss, miss used tampon. I'm just going to call a used tampon Baldwin. Um, she was busted on Saturday night in Savannah, Georgia, after the owner of a bar called Club Elon, Elon called 911 to report an unruly patron, her, whom he claimed was attacking his staff and refused, refusing to leave the establishment. As it turns out, cops say that person was Alia, Alia, I'm just going to call Alia, 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 whatever. Ugh, that name is irritating me. Like, I don't know. Um, according to the police report uh, obtained by TMZ, when officers arrived, they met the two different bouncers and one was one of the bartenders there, all of whom had a similar story. They told the cop that Alia had gone into an employee's only bathroom. Wow. And when she was told she couldn't be in there and had to use the public restroom. Oh, God forbid she used the public restroom. She's just so, such a huge celebrity, right? Such a huge celebrity. Oh my god. She started, um, she allegedly started becoming belligerent and combative. That sounds about right. When it comes to the Baldwins, they usually are pretty combative when it comes, when, when they don't get what they want. Isn't that right? Haley, a sweetie. <laughs> That's how her sister is. So, I guess the apple doesn't fall from the dysfunctional trashy tree, doesn't it? Um... She allegedly started becoming okay, belligerent. Okay, and then she accused. She was accused of assaulting three other three staff staffers. Real classy, sweetie. Real classy. Um, 
So we have one stalker loon, Haley. And then we have another who throws tampons at people, use tampons at people. Cute, real cute, real cute. Love that. One security guard claims she yanked her hair. Oh my God. One security guard claims she yanked hair out of his head when he attempted to wrangle her. And another guard alleges she kicked him in the groin when he tried doing the same. What the fuck? A, a female bartender told cops she went into the employee bathroom herself at one point trying to show discretion of Alia's apparently and claimed she was told Alia needed a minute to throw up and change her tampon. The staffer says she waited for a while and when she re-entered again to check for Alia, she claims Alia... I don't know why I hate saying her name. It just sounds really bad. Um, threw a tampon on her. Love that. Cute. Real, real, real fucking cute, girl. Real fucking cute. These lashes are really cute, though. Yes! Okay. Uh, eventually, the security personnel says they were able to get a hold of her and get her out of the building. Well, that's good. What a trashy girl. And the responding officer says when he asked Alia about all this, she claimed she was defending herself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the whole thing was blown out of proportion. In the end, she was arrested on a number of charges. She should be arrested for being a basic, dumb, trashy bitch, along with other things. But anyway, getting booked for simple assault, simple battery, battery and trespassing. She also posed for this mugshot of the jail. We reached out for her for comment. No word. No, So far, no word back. I don't think you'll going to hear any word. Maybe maybe she'll do an Instagram reel about it on Monday. Let's see her mugshot again. Cool. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Maybe some more concealer because your bag's looking kind of big, sweetie, underneath your eyes. But anyway, that'll do that when you drink a lot and you're in a fight and you take your used tampon and throw it at somebody and pull people's hair out. Um... Anyway, allegedly, but that's what TMZ says, so is what it is. I think I feel that really cute. I, I, I kind of look like um like a rich like a rich mom. I got with this sweater. I kind of I'm kind of giving it's, it's, it's giving, right? It's definitely a look and it's definitely giving. One more time, just have to give you guys a tour of this look. <laughs> yes. Okay, bitch. I see you, bitch. Work. Giving you the look, mate. Jewelry too. <laughs> you want to see the other jewelry I have on? Hey, work. Yeah, I'm gonna put on nails on in a little bit, like I said. But oh, you guys, when it comes to my diet, okay, this is what I do. Like, I'll lose three pounds, and I'll be like, oh, I lost three pounds, and I'll gain three pounds back the next week. You guys, it's the candy and Oreos. I'm addicted to candy and Oreos. So if I'm, if I'm out of breath, just know it's because I went downstairs and came back upstairs. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. I'm out of breath. But I'm I'm fine now. But at the beginning of the video is out of breath. Oh, it's fine. I need to I need to work work this off anyway. So out of breath is better than being, you know, stagnant. Anyway, this isn't about my weight loss journey. This is about how trashy this Alia Baldwin um wait, is her whatever. She's trash. Um She's a psychopath and a trash is just, just like her sister Haley, so this isn't really anything surprising. Are you shocked by this? Some loser girl who's entitled. No. Really, it's just it's just a no for me. I'd rather look at Justin Bieber shirtless, which is... Oh. Let me look at that. Ooh, Justin, you're sexy. Oof. It's on TMZ's website if you guys want to see it. I wish I could show you guys. Well, I guess I could technically, but I don't probably turn the camera on. But anyway, you guys, just know that Justin Bieber is really good with his shirt off. But we, we knew that already, right? <laughs> I'm just like wasting time looking at this. Ew, Haley's kissing Justin. Ew, I don't like Haley. Haley can. Mm. <sighs> Justin's still hot. Oh my god, he looks really good, you guys. Oh my god, <laughs> I love that man. Um, oh my god, you know what else I want to talk about? Since we're on here. Okay, this is going to be a longer video. Usually I make these drama videos shorter, but this is going to be a longer one. But, oh, and I haven't even done the Britney update yet. Okay, this is going to be a long-ass freaking video, okay? So hopefully you get your popcorn ready. Um, But I want to talk about the whole Stephen Baldwin asking. Yeah, I, 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 I never did a video about that. I was going to do a video about that. So I'm going to do all this in this video. It's going to be a long video. So 
yeah, uh, Haley's dad, Stephen, um, made a whole video. No, I'm sorry. Made a video. I wish he made a video. That'd be great. He made a whole uh, tweet. No, was it Instagram story? Whatever he did. He talked about it on social media somehow. I forgot, whatever. I don't care. But uh, talking about how, like, pray for Justin and Haley. I mean, I think he meant well, but let's be honest. It's shady the house. Like I said, I said this in the other video about Brittany and Jax, which I'll talk about in this video, too. They need more than prayer, sweetie. Justin needs to divorce that stupid, irrelevant, trashy bitch, Haley. Um... Oh my god, I'm sorry, but Justin's shirtless. I forgot how hot he is. Sometimes you forget. And then I'm reminded that that man is fucking hot. Justin, you need to be single. In fact, Justin needs to... I mean, look at me. I'm really pretty. I think Justin needs to be with me instead of Haley. Let's keep it real. Like, we'd be a better couple. I mean, look at this. I look really cute. <laughs> I'm 35 because you're wondering. I know I look older because this little mom sweater I'm wearing, which I'm living for. I live for the whole, like, mom sweater vibe, but... Oh, you know who I look like right now? Kris Jenner. <laughs> Don't I with this sweater and the hair kind of, like, pushed back like this? Oh, my God. I'm giving, like, a younger Kris Jenner vibes. Which is not a bad thing. I mean, she, she's, she's definitely everything, but... Oh, my God. I'm giving Kris Jenner right now. <laughs> I'm not mad at it, though. I live for that. Anyway, Justin's really hot. Divorce Haley. Get with me, Justin. I think everybody will agree he's watching this video. Um, ooh, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at Justin's short list. Okay. It's on TMZ. Just look at that if you want to see that. Um, what else do I want to say? Yeah, and then apparently Haley's upset because her dad shouldn't have mentioned anything. Come on. That divorce is, is, is going to happen this year. I'm telling you, it's, it has to happen. Or at least the divorce is starting to get... Um, Oh my god, you guys. Oh, he's so fucking hot. Okay. Let's do this Britney update before this video gets like 50 minutes long. So I'm gonna go to the top of this page. Let me just refresh this because it was in the beginning of this page. Oh, there we go. Okay. So apparently Jax Taylor has spoken out. Uh and I will link the video I did yesterday down below. Down below. Down below in case you haven't seen the part one. This is part two, I guess. Um he has, because, you know, like I said, Brittany came on the podcast yesterday and said that they're split and she's living somewhere else. So, apparently, Jax is disagreeing with that. So, they're ready to... Uh, this is a hot mess already. So, Jax is saying that... Um, wait, what? Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, this is what actually happened. So, Jax was saying that she was not living, and then she's now living back with them, or whatever the hell happened. But now, Brittany is saying that she's not living back with her estranged husband, and then we get the separation. But Jax is saying that she is. So, uh, apparently, they're both saying different messages. So, they're both contradicting each other. So, honey, it's a hot mess. So, sources um, are saying that despite... What the Vanderpump, Van, Vanderpump rule star recent claim that he and Brittany are living together again. That's simply not the case. We're told that they are, in fact, are living separately. So basically, Jax is doing damage control. He's saying that they're, that they're living together. Brittany is saying not. And it's, it's a hot mess. So um, other sources are saying Jax and Brittany are still taking time apart after fighting a lot over the past year, which ultimately ended in them separating our sources say that both of them needed space from each other. Part of that includes them being under different roofs right now. Roofs right now. Wow. Brittany did, did stop by the family home Thursday, but we're told she was only there to grab some of her belongings, which she brought over to the nearby home that she's renting. Ooh, girl. The reality stars announced the separation Thursday, but okay, we already talked about that. Anyway, if you want more details on that, I talked about that yesterday's video, which will be linked down below. Okay, this video is getting too long, you guys. So I'm going to go. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about everything I said. What do you think about this look? Is this giving Kris Jenner? Yes. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Until next time. Bye, guys.